First, it was Terra Luna Classic that fell from the heavens down to the earth. And after that, Three Arrows Capital died, basically dragging down Voyager and Celsius along with it. Now, since then, we've watched FTX, both the international and the U.S. companies, go belly up file bankruptcy, and not just stop there, but hack themselves for over $600 million, stealing it from customers' accounts. Now, the latest thing that we're seeing unfold right now is Crypto.com. Now, there's a, listen, there's a lot of both facts and, yes, fear or uncertainty plaguing the cryptocurrency market right now, and I want to discuss that. Because CZ Binance, man, he may be over lurking in the shadows, taking jabs at all of his competitors, watching them fall one by one, but there's truth to it as well. There's risk in the cryptocurrency market. Some people are going to say, don't tell me about the risks, man. Don't feel them. Don't fill me with FUD and fear. And other people need to know those risks that are associated with the money that they're investing right now. And that's what I want to go over specifically surrounding crypto.com and other exchanges like Coinbase and so on. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks. And $1 crypto trade is going to get you $5 in free crypto. Now, if you guys want a crypto exclusive exchange, <laughs> the few that are left at the moment, they are risky as well. You've got KuCoin and Binance down there. Everything seems to be working just normal. They've got withdrawals. They've got deposits. They've got all that good stuff. So make sure to check those out. Out if you guys want to, but I want to jump into the risks that are associated with crypto investing in the present time. Now, we're starting to see out on Twitter and out on social media and even some articles that are, are popping up on Google that cryptocurrency is dead. Cryptocurrency doesn't deserve to be regulated. Cryptocurrency deserves to be banned. Now, these are some very strong statements, right? And that is a real possibility. It is a real possibility that the regulators and the lawmakers here in the United States and across the globe one day do ban cryptocurrency. Now, that doesn't mean that crypto will die. That's the beautiful thing about cryptocurrency that, that you really need to understand. It is decentralized. Crypto in its truest form is a decentralized currency. It uses cryptography in order to stay alive. If you are on proof of work and you turn your computer on and you are simply mining that blockchain and validating the blockchain, you cannot destroy it. You cannot shut it off. You would have to take all of the internet away. You would have to take all of the electricity away. And only then could you truly destroy cryptocurrency. So in its final form and in its most basic form, cryptocurrency is going to be extremely difficult to kill. Now, the prices, on the other hand, and this contagion that is spreading from centralized exchange to centralized exchange right now is the largest risk. So let's talk about Crypto.com for a second. If you guys watched the videos yesterday, we understand that Crypto.com was, was doing some strange things, right? And they've had their Ask Me Anythings and their AMAs. And the CEO explained it, that this was an accident, that they accidentally sent millions of dollars to, uh, to the wrong wallet, but all of that has been recovered and so on. <laughs> and CZ Binance, that's where he jumps in and takes his little jab and says, if you see people or if you see major exchanges transferring large sums of money in order to meet their audits and in order to meet their reserves, that is bad news. Stay away. So a lot of this fear started to pile up around Crypto.com just in the last, well, really 48 hours now. And the price has spiraled out of control. It dropped from roughly 13 cents down to 5 cents, back up to 7 cents, and it's right in that 6, 6.5 cent range. Now, these are clearly wild swings during a wildly volatile cryptocurrency market. So a couple things you're going to need to know. Volatility breeds volatility. 
So the more volatile an asset is, the more traders are going to come in. And the more traders come in, the more volatile an asset is going to be. So right now we are seeing an extremely volatile uh, time frame or, or I guess environment when it comes to cryptocurrency. But the major concern surrounding these, these centralized exchanges right now is are they insolvent? Will they be able to meet customers' needs? Now, this is where it gets interesting, okay? And this is where the risk lies with any centralized exchange. Whether you're looking at Crypto.com, Coinbase, Binance, KuCoin, and so on, this is the problem at present. FTX, FTX was apparently a sham. They were lending all of our deposits over to the Almeida Research, and Almeida Research was investing them and losing them. Therefore, FTX did not actually have our money, but they said that they had our money. So as soon as people began to withdraw, they were not able to process those withdrawals because they did not have the money to do so. Very similar situation to what Voyager was doing, loaning money out to Three Arrows Capital. Now, Crypto.com claims that they are not loaning your money out. Coinbase claims that they are not loaning your money out. And, and just because an exchange does not loan your cryptocurrency deposits out does not mean that they can't go insolvent. And let's talk about that for just two seconds. This is not fear. These are facts. If a company cannot meet its debt obligations, it is insolvent. It could absolutely file bankruptcy if they cannot meet their debt obligations. How do you get there even if you do have the cryptocurrency on hand? You would be okay. You would be safe in the sense that your money would be given back to you because they do have that available. But that does not mean the exchange will survive. For example, we are going through a very, very risky time in cryptocurrency right now. Like I stated at the beginning of the video, people are not just calling for crypto regulation. There's a lot of people calling for crypto bans out there. And as more and more people begin to fear the loss of their capital, as more and more people begin to fear a declining cryptocurrency market, and that's, that fear spreads. That fear does spread and plague the market. And we're seeing that right now. We're seeing people withdraw their cryptocurrency either into fiat and putting it back in the bank, or we are seeing people withdraw their cryptocurrency from centralized exchanges like Crypto.com, Coinbase, Binance, KuCoin, and so on, and they are moving them over to cold storage wallets, either those little flash drive looking things, or they are moving them to DeFi wallets, where you are the, you are the uh, custodian of your cryptocurrency. You own that crypto at that point. Now, as more and more people withdraw, that creates less and less transaction revenue for exchanges like Crypto.com, Coinbase, and so on. And if they are not loaning your money out, if they are making their, their revenue solely on transaction fees, which is what they claim to do, the vast majority of their revenue is based on transactions. The, the less and less and less transactions that they are able to accomplish based on less and less and less people trading cryptocurrency could result in one of two things. Either massive layoffs coming from Crypto.com, Coinbase, and so on, so that they can continue to cover their overhead and pay their debts, or in the event that they can't afford to lay anybody else off and they can't afford to pay their debts because their revenue has declined so far, bankruptcy and insolvency. Now, like I say, the good news is if they do have those assets, you should be entitled to them. The bad news is if they owe debt, that they cannot pay. Those aren't considered your assets if you keep them on a cryptocurrency exchange. Crypto.com considers your deposits loans. Coinbase considers your deposits loans. Binance, KuCoin, etc. They consider our deposits loans. And if they owe debt, you are a unsecured or just you have no collateral in that. You are an unsecured lender to them and they will pay off their debtors first. So guys, that is the risk that we enter this stage in cryptocurrency where less and less and less people are excited, less and less and less people are trading, and because of that, we continue to pull our money off of the centralized exchanges, moving over to DeFi, cold, or fiat, and then they can no longer cover their bills. It is as simple as that. This is not 
fear-mongering. This is nothing to be afraid of. It is the reality. And you have to make decisions based on reality. So I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, do you think that this crypto storm that's out there brewing right now continues to get larger and continues to worsen? Let us know. And of course, if this button right here is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. and We are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, Binance, free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.